Welcome back to the show. I'm joined by Bison head coach Mark Sampson. Coach, how you doing today? Good, thank you. Cool. So you got your first game under your belt of 2019, so I'm going to kind of take you back to that. Where were you ahead of Friday night's game against Sentinel? Well, you know, we thought we did a pretty good job preparing for him, but then when you go back, you look at how we played, and then you go back and look at the film, um, you saw some things we didn't do a very good job at. And, I, and hopefully this week we're correcting those things. We're actually playing a lot of new kids, and it kind of showed at times. You know, the, at, at times our effort, I thought our effort was great. I, I thought we executed things well, and it seemed like the times when we didn't execute things very well, we really got burned. We've had to go back to the drawing board a little bit this week, so to speak, and just reemphasize some things that you need to do to win football games. And, and hopefully this Friday we'll see a, a different type of team. I hope everyone sees a different type of team, but we're working hard. You got your first taste of almost in an actual game situation. I know we talked about him last week at the scrimmage, or I guess the week before at the scrimmage. And the big thing that you've been pushing this year is that he needs reps. So how, did, how were you, were you happy with the reps that he got in that game on Friday? Well, I thought as the game wore on, I thought he, he, he started making some better decisions. Early in the game, I think he was a little bit nervous about being the start, you know, first varsity start. And then once he started getting a little bit relaxed, I thought he did some good things. You know, statistically, he was okay. We had some drops, and that was not good. In fact, we had a couple big drops in critical situations. But that's what you learn when you're starting a quarterback, senior, doesn't matter what year he is, first varsity game, sometimes you're going to be a little bit rough. And, and you got to hope that other kids will pick it up and take it from there and kind of pick up some of the slack. But I think our team is kind of sitting back a little bit waiting for Andrew to get the job done. Again, that's like you said, it's the rep thing. I, I hope this weekend I'll be more relaxed. And as we like to say in the coaching world, let the game come to you. It'll slow down. And that's what you have to do as a quarterback. The world around you has got to slow down a little bit. And when that happens, that's when the good quarterbacks, I don't care what level is, that's when you see them really start doing some things. People go, wow. And a lot of that is just being inside, just being relaxed and confident in what you're doing. You mentioned that, you know, your team stayed in it the whole game. And, it, and it, the score ended up being, you know, a close Season. game, you know. So um, as a coach, what do you see out of that going into Helena this Friday? Well, we're not going to be a team that's just going to give up. I know that. Uh, we're going to battle. I kind of challenged the captains on Monday, making them understand that, you know, whatever game it is, whatever team it is, our captains have to be the most consistent, the best players on the field. So I kind of put a challenge to them. I think our kids learned a lot from that game. And, and some of them I know were, when it was all done, they were a little bit hurt, a little bit embarrassed about the performance. And I know this, if, if we can improve in certain things like I know we can, then I think it'll be a good night for us. Kind of talk about some of the things that you're prepping your team for heading into that Friday night game. Well, they're well coached. Um, they're solid. They are. They're solid on both sides of the ball. The Grovem kid at quarterback had a nice game. They have a wide receiver that's a good player, plays DB, had a couple picks. They're going to be a team that if you're going to beat that team, generally it's not going to be because of mistakes they're going to make. You, you've just got to be better than, than them fundamentally. Um, when opportunities come up to make big plays, you've got to do it on both sides of the ball. You know, it's hard for teams to go down to Helen and win at Vigilante Stadium. And, and so it's going to be a good challenge for us. Awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck on Thank Friday, you. and we will check in with you next week. Okay. But we'll be right back after Great. this.